Now that you've watched my guide video on how to prepare your sloop, your ship is well stocked and ready to set sail. But are you ready? The next step in becoming a better solo slooper is knowing your weapons so that you can defend your ship from other thieven pirates. So that is what we are going to cover in today's video. Hi, my name is Hippo TC. Welcome back to another guide video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I noticed that a large number of viewers are not yet subbed and it would really mean a lot to me if you did. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. The seas are full of danger, and as a solo pirate, one of the biggest threats is other thieving pirates. There will be days where some scurvy dogs get the best of you and sink your ship, but if you keep your wits about you and make sure you are stocked up with the right weapons, you might just make it out alive. Now, in this video, we're going to focus on weapons and how to use them. Knowing your weapons and mastering them could mean the difference between victory or a trip to the ferryman. When it comes to weapons, my best advice is just find what works for you and the style of play you prefer. Each weapon is different, has different damage, different reload times, and different uses, so let's cover the basics. The Cutlass does 25% damage per slash, has a three hit combo with some knockback, and the lunge on this weapon does 60% damage. The Flintlock does 55% damage per shot. The Blunderbuss does 10% damage per pellet and shoots 10 pellets per shot. And last but not least, we have the Eye of Reach, which does 70% damage per shot. With the damage in mind, each weapon also has a different reload speed, which I'm going to illustrate here for you now. The fastest reload speed being the flintlock, followed by the blunderbuss, and then the slowest reload speed is the eye of reach. Now, each weapon is different when it comes to bullet spread and hit fire as well, making them effective in various ways. The eye of reach is basically worthless when it comes to the hit fire. However, it is the only weapon with a scope. This can be helpful to make those long range shots on other pirates. The blunderbuss most obviously is the greatest weapon at close range. If you aim down your sights before shooting, you can one shot pirates and it is the only gun that has a little bit of knockback, which makes it great for defending your ladders. The flintlock really shines with hip fire and quick shot. So if you're pretty decent with your aim, the flintlock can be a great great weapon for you. That is, of course, when your hit reg is working properly. Then we have the Cutlass. Oh, the Cutlass. The Cutlass is a great weapon when it comes to both PvP and PvE. If you land a full three hit combo, like I mentioned earlier, it does knock back the enemy and the lunge can be used against multiple enemies at once. And plus it also has knockback, making it a pretty effective way of getting pirates off of your ship. And not to mention that the lunge can't be blocked either. There are loads of other benefits with the lunge i have a complete video dedicated to mastering the sword and sea of thieves so make sure to check that out so you too can become a sword lord other very useful items to have on your person at all times are blunder bombs and fire bombs a blunder bomb when you hit your enemy directly does 50 percent damage and two well-placed blunder bombs will your enemy up fast I really like to combine both a shot from my weapon and a blunder bomb as it is faster to switch to a throwable blunder bomb than it is to reload. That being said, there are a ton of other uses that the blunder bomb can have and I cover a lot of those in another one of my guide videos so make sure to check that out as well. The link is in the description. Fire bombs are the other currently throwable item and are insanely useful when it comes to bringing down a ship that is chasing you, setting pirates on fire, etc. It does damage over time and can save you in a fight. Just be careful not to set yourself on fire. And last but not least, when it comes to defending your sloop, there's one more thing I would recommend getting. One of those bad tridents from the new Pirates Life update. I have a whole video on this covering where to find them and best uses for it, so make sure to check that out. The biggest use for the trident that I actually see that is going to benefit Solo Slooper comes from you being able to knock off borders from your ship easily. For a Solo Slooper, it will be your new best friend. Sorry, bud. 
That covers all the player weapons available to you right now as a pirate in Sea of Thieves. My absolute last tip here though for you regarding weapons and fighting in Sea of Thieves is to always have your pockets full of blunder bombs or fire bombs, good food, and full ammo in your guns. You would be surprised how many times I've seen a pirate run into battle with only a banana to their name. Don't be that pirate. Set yourself up for success. Thanks for watching, mates. I really hope you found this video helpful. What is your favorite combo of weapons? Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you would like to see me make next as far as a video guide goes. Always looking for new ideas.